Hey guys, Blazin here. Welcome to my analysis on the T25 DER. Alright, much like the plasma pistol, uh, there isn't a lot of lore or features to go over with the plasma rifle, because I've already done that in my Halo Reach review. So if you wish to know more of the lore and its features, uh, go ahead and watch that one. And just like the plasma pistol, I only have one paragraph to share, to add on what's already been said in my Reach review. So with that being said, let's continue. The T25DAR is a directed energy weapon that uses superheated ionized gas as ammo. The weapon's inner workings are comprised of several components, including a power cell that keeps the weapon active, which then powers the magnetic containment field and carries out the firing cycle. Unlike the T25DEP, the T25DER fires in fully automatic. Now, the battery for this gun acts quite differently. Basically, the more you use the gun, the worse the battery efficiency gets. Just to give you an idea, when you first use the T25DAR on this model, I was able to get 25 shots out. The more I kept using it, the less shots I was able to get out. And the least amount of shots I got out was around 23 shots. So it was kind of hard to get the rate of fire a little bit, or the amount of shots I was able to pull off. But the average amount of shots I was able to get off was 24, and 23 being the lowest, and 25 being the highest. Well, you only really get 25 shots out basically the very first time you use it. It takes two shots to take 1% of the battery out, and the battery capacity is 100%. The average fire rate I got was around 470 rounds per minute. The average cooldown speed I got was around 3.12 seconds. The max effective range was around 38 meters. The damage output is 2 shots to break shields and 13 shots to health for a 15 shot kill. or two shots to break shields, and seven shots to the head for a nine shot kill. Body shot TTK was around two seconds. Headshot TTK was around 1.06 seconds.
And that's it on this version of the plasma rifle. The stun mechanic for both the plasma pistol and plasma rifle are very unique to this game. Due to their stun mechanics, they make excellent flanking weapons behind opponents' backs. That being said, some changes I would make to this version of the plasma rifle is I would actually take away its headshot mechanic on this gun and give it to the plasma pistol instead. And I would make this gun a consistent 13 shot kill. I would probably also prefer a more consistent battery consumption, so that way I'm able to get 26 shots out instead of 25 to like 23. I would also decrease this red reticle range down to like fucking 9 meters, because as you saw throughout the accuracy test, it's fucking terrible at its max effective range, quote unquote. And that's pretty much all I gotta say on this gun, so if you enjoyed, please leave a like, subscribe for more, share this video around, and leave your comments down below on what you think of this gun, and until next time, peace.